Hello, wonderful world of YouTube. This is James with VG Legends. That stands for Video Gamers Legends. Now remember, I'm not a legend at all. I'm just a regular guy who loves and is very passionate about video games. Guys, welcome to part three of Star Wars Outlaw, Star Wars Outlaw, Star Wars Outlaw, Star Wars Outlaws. Ba ba bum 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 ba ba bum. <laughs> Actually, the uh, the Phantom Menace, the first movie, uh, episode one, made in the early two thousands, is actually my favorite. Uh, they have the my favorite music theme. I love that, um, and I love Darth Maul. So. But anyway, guys, I always do a Bible verse at the beginning of these videos, and I do a prayer at the end because God comes first in my life. But uh, I was doing my devotions this morning, and I was thinking of Matthew 5, 4, which is one of my favorite verses, and it was the verse of the day today in my devotions. So I, I just want to go over it with you guys. So Matthew 5, 4 is, Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Now, I saw this gentleman, this gentleman, when I was doing my devotions, he was speaking about it, and he was talking about how the word blessed in Hebrew, or the Greek translation, actually means happy. So I don't know what the word is, but I, I don't remember what he said. I wouldn't even be able to pronounce it, but um, it means happy. So happy is the, blessed are those who, Happy are those who mourn, for they will be company. Well, what does that mean? Well, that means that no matter what you're dealing with in your life, and mourning obviously means we're grieving, right? So whether it's the loss of a loved one or there's something, you know, going on in our lives that is, you know, we're going to be sad about. There's many things in the world that we can be sad about. Uh, world hung We could be sad about world hunger, you know, starving children, the wars today that are going on in different countries, people, victims, people dying. You know, in America, I would say school shootings are a problem, things like that. There's many things that we can grieve over. But happy are those who mourn, for they will be company. Now, what that means to me as a Christian, and now if you're a follower of Christ, is happy are those who mourn, for they will be comforted by the living God who is with them every day. The living and breathing God who is with them every day. Now that's our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. What do we do when he died on the cross for our sins? Obviously we can grieve for that because it's very sad. His death was the most horrible death that any human could fathom in this world. And obviously he was God in human form when he went through it. And he suffered very much. But it's for the greater good of mankind and for the greater good of everybody because he died on the cross for all of our sins. So blessed be the ones who mourn for they will be comforted by the loving and breathing living God. And that's through the Holy Spirit that he's with us every day through his word and through acclamation from his people. So that's what I think about when I hear that verse. And it's just a beautiful verse, very simple verse, but very beautiful you got to think you can, you've been, been grieving and you can be sad about something on Thursday, but you got church coming up on Sunday and you can remember that Christ died on the cross for our sins. And blessed be to God for Jesus Christ for dying on the cross for our sins so we could believe in him and live for him and have eternal life. Blessed be to God for that and for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for that. But, okay, two things. We're going to get right to it that I have a gripe about this when you this game so far. First of all, I want to say I'm so upset with myself because I went through basically I'm doing video three right after video two because um, part two because I was so mad at myself because not thinking that I can actually use, you know, nicks to get into this to open this door. I can't believe I didn't figure it out. Now, if I would have been streaming the video, you guys would have been screaming at me in the stream in the comments because I ran around like a chicken with his head cut off, not trying to figure trying to figure out where to go in this mission. Well, this is where you go. You go in this room. I actually looked it up and I was like, I cannot believe I didn't because you can use Nick's obviously to attack. You can use him to 
to distract enemies. And I already knew that you could use them to get into the rooms. And I do not wa know why I didn't think of that. But the gripe that I have is when, so far, is when you go to attack enemies and you go to lock on them with Nick, sometimes it switches from from attack to, to um, you know, to the different options you can use for him. So it's kind of hard to lock on for them. Now I'm going to show you the the person that I was talking about in the other the other video. Um, so I was talking about I was talking about Danka, that person. So this is Danka. This is who we got to go talk to and after we do this mission and we're going to keep continuing on. So we're just going to grab these pants. We're going to go talk to Danka. I might go on with the main missions, but just hopefully we can get into more combat, but I might actually do a side mission. There was a side mission we could do with the huts too. So I thought that that would be fun. So, but we're going to get these pants now, right at the beginning of this video. Thanks. Push that button. Finally that I figured it out. I, I didn't even, t I had to come through here again with all the enemies. So, yep, there we go. But I'm going to go back and get that key card, too. So I think a lot of people have griped about the gameplay of this game being kind of boring. You know, you're always you're always doing stealthy thing, stealthy missions. It's not, you know, not as fun as other games. I disagree. I think, you know, for what it is, it's a fun game. You, you got to give it, just give it the rights to what it is. You know what I mean? I like this game, and I've had fun with it. I like being able to use Nick's ability. And a lot of people say, well, you can only use a blaster with K. Well, yeah, well, she's not, you know, she's not a Jedi. So, I mean, ooh, sniper nice. blaster. Dude, sick. She's not a Jedi. So, <laughs> you know, but I think as the missions go on, we'll be able to use different abilities with her, um... With her blaster and say that's where the game shines with the combat. Now I don't know if that involves like different different moves you can do to take down enemies or different animations to take them down. As far as that goes, I don't know. But so far I'm having a lot of fun with the game. I never let, you know any ratings of games or any you know what I mean? videos of people saying that it's it's not a good game bring me down i you know i i don't i don't do that never judge a book by its cover you know what i'm saying oh see i already got all this stuff. so okay so again it didn't have me get this stuff again all right so now we got to get out of here without being caught all right we're gonna take this guy out Dude, that was sick. That's the first time I've ever done that jumping. All right, so we're going to just go back in the way we came. We already got the pants, so. Let's do this. Oh, now the syndicate were bad. Holy crap, did you see that? We went from poor to bad. And like I said in the previous, this video is going to be a lot more fun. I'm already telling you guys. And since we did that with the last, uh, six, I explained that with the last video, your reputation go, is what builds your um, story and your the upgrading of your character. That was like a glitch. So we're going to go back. We got to take this back to um, Danka. So that's what we're going to do right now. I'm still playing. Whoa, we're in the Pike territory. Oh. 
So if you are in poor standing or bad standing with with a one of the groups, they will just attack you on sight. All right, so let's look at our map. So we have to go. All right, I have to remember where she said she was. She said she, uh. So, Mirogana is that big, okay. So, these are the places that I've already been. Pike Syndicate, we were just there. Janta's Hope, that's where she's going to be. Okay, we're gonna. we're just going to fast travel. I'm excited. I might. I think we're gonna do that Hulk, that uh, um, hut mission. All right, valuables. Did we actually grab those pants? All right, so where do we go to missions? See, that's the hot cartel opportunity. I do want to do that. I do want to talk to Danka first, though. We got to find out where she is. The Empire's working with the syndicates. They say they're protecting us. Well, who's protecting us? I feel like she would be in here. She said she would be in Janta's Hope, so I don't know where to go. I think right now what we're going to do is we're going to do that mission. Because it doesn't give me a direction on where to go. Uh, so this could be another side mission too. Didn't quite get that. Thieves have stolen my motivation actuator. Please end my humiliation. That's what the little guy said. I think a lot of this game is, is going to shine in the story. Yep, that's another. So that's another um, new intel. So that's another mission. I want to do the huts mission though. We're going to do that right now. Because I can always go back to. All right, so. Oh, this is the stronghold where I was. Oh, that's the other one. So we already did this one. So we can get a thousand, and it will build our rec reputation with the huts. All right, we're gonna do this. 
Oh, it's in Miragana. So we're going to go there. We're going to fast travel. Oh, we got to get out of here, though, first. Yeah, I don't know where she is. So we're just going to get out of here. And we're not going to waste any time. Because I want to do as much as we can in the video. It's actually kind of hard to control. Hold on, Nix. All right, now we can just look on the map. All right, here we go. I think it's cool how the Empire, like, checks everybody as they're coming in. So this is a side mission. This isn't even a main mission. But so far... So far we're working... We've been working for... Um, what's that other group? Okay, so we so far we've been working for basically Crimson Dawn. Sell materials for blaster upgrades. Nice. Oh yeah, we can get. Oh, cool. Look at that. So I can get that when we go to... Dude, that's sick. When we go back to uh, to our ship. It's kind of like one of the Crimson Dawn's outfits. So this is the Markel's Gambling Parlor. This is cool. This is a cool bar, too. Keep an eye out for new talent. Name's Varric, and I've got a real job for you. I hope a real job means real credits. It does for the Huts. The Pikes are muscling in on Jabba's creature smuggling business, stealing his buyers in the core worlds. Find out who they're selling to, then take out their factory farm. Have up front or no dice. You'll get paid when you deliver. That works too. Those coordinates will take you to my contact. Don't keep her waiting. All right, so we got to go meet his contact. You like going for a ride next? The lost step. I don't even know what's involved, what we're gonna have to do in these this mission. Let's give those little feet a rest. So we're gonna have to drive there because I'm assuming.
we can't fast travel, but I want to drive anyway because it'll be fun. I want to drive anyway, it'll be fun, so. So we got to stay out of the way of the syndicates because we have bad reputation with them right now. It's cool seeing the speeders. Kind of makes you think of, like, Tatooine. Like, from the first movie. And like I said before, it's almost like they got this... It's got this, like, rustic look to that. Like, 1970s, like the first movie. This game looks awesome. Look at that. That moon up there, whatever it is. Whoa. away from it now. Oh! Uh oh, Pike Territory. Oh gosh! We're good. Hold So his contact's somewhere over here. So where do we go? It's got to be up there. So how the heck? Oh my gosh, I don't know how to get there. All right, let's see. Let's look at my map. She's up in those mountains, but I got to figure out how to get up there. Hang on tight. 
Uh, <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, I can't even find a way to get to his location. So I'm way over here. All right, over here. I'm going to go along here and go up the... All right, it looks like there's a path that goes up here. Like, so if I go around... That's like a whole camp. Alright, no, so I gotta keep going here. Okay. Keep going along the path. I think this is right. Yeah, it is. I gotta be careful because I don't know. All right, we gotta go up here. Oh, okay, I'm all right. Whoops. That's the only bad thing is this contact is in the pike territory. So this is Varric's contact. Hey, uh, Varric sent me. Name's Monda. You're new. I'm Kay. Uh, this is Nyx. All right, Kay and Nyx. Here's the job. Get inside, grab the client list, then plant the bomb on the generator. Ooh, Flash that'll be fun. Pens and ruin this entire operation. Right. And the bomb? Over there. It's your standard time-fused beradium charge. Oh, sure, yeah. Baradium. Use these all the time. Guess it's time to plan a bomb. So that's where we're going, where we just were getting shot at. I wonder if we can Whoa. just drop down right here. Yeah, we can go down. Let's see if we have any... This is going to be tough. Alright, so... What's the deal with these animals anyway, Manda? Ragumas. They stink, but with the right treatment, their hides can pass for gundark leather. What's gonna happen to them? 
You're setting them free. All right, so I want to do... Okay, I want to get my binoculars out. Because I want to tag... Yeah, because you can tag enemies, but... <gasps> ah! That wasn't smart. Break into the operations building, so I gotta steal the plans. Oh, yeah, Mondo wasn't kidding. They really do stink. So how do I let them out? I don't think I can let him out yet. Because there's no, like, device saying that I can. It's probably going to be when I go inside. All right, here we go. All right, I want to mark that guy. The other day I heard that brother sister duo betray. All right, let's go. Could have told you that was bound to happen. Forget it. Let's go.
Showtime, buddy. More power cells. Oh, cool. What's this? Grenade launcher? Uh, yeah. This is so sick. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I want the grenade launcher, baby. All right, hold on. I'm gonna... I'm staying here. That was smart. I'm glad I did that. All right, here we go. This is a lot of fun. So far, so good. There's so many guys. Alright, we might be able to get through this now.
All right, we got the key card. All right. Oh my gosh. This is awesome now. All right, here we go. Go put on a show, Nick. Come on. Now where's that client list? Ooh, maybe the list's on that hollow puck. Ah, oh, that's got to be it. If they don't come in here, though. Come on, I'm going to get it. That was close, huh, Nix? Yes. Talents wasted on the huts. What is this? It's an offer. Crimson Dawn wants to know who's doing business with the Pikes. Give me that list and we both profit. What about Beric? It's easy to lie to hut thugs. Just don't back down. What if I say no? Now that I like the Crimson Dawn, though. I can't let you walk out of here. <gasps> Refuse and finish the job. Here we go. Okay, Manda. You got a deal. And you've got a job to finish. Take care of the bomb while I transfer the data. Working with the Dawn is very profitable.
Alright, so where do I put the bomb? Come on, Nix. Let's deal with that generator. So where's the generator? All right, here. Uh, okay, this looks right, I think. Did you touch anything? Because I didn't touch anything. That timer's going real fast. There's gotta be another way. Do you see a way out? Oh, gosh. Press it, Nix. Let me out. Oh my gosh! Alright, this game is, actually is fun. <laughs> I just got frustrated in that mission. That was so much fun. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Part 3 was definitely better than Part 2. Job's done. <laughs> I knew you'd deliver. Meet me at Deruda Diner in Janta's home. Mark this place down! Hmm. This Keep way. moving, Nix! Uh. Uh. Huh. Lux holding out. Alright guys, I'm gonna end the video there. I'm gonna return on my own. Uh, that was an awesome mission. Uh, I'm going to break this. I, I had two recordings, but I'm going to do a little bit of editing. And then uh, you can see me actually complete this mission. That was a lot of fun. I'm going to say a prayer to let you guys go. And remember, whatever it is that you do that's involved in gaming in your life, always keep it legendary. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, anybody who's watching on the under end of this video, just know that... Uh, you know, when we're in mourning and we're grieving, we know that uh, you are the one and only true living God, Lord, and you are with us. Uh, no matter if we lose a loved one or whatever we're feeling. And that we just love you so much and we know that you guide us in our footsteps every day. And that's with the Holy Spirit and with your word and obviously with all your people. And we love you, Lord, and thank you for blessing us through times of sorrow through times of grieving and mourning. And uh, we just ask that you watch over us in all of our times of need. And we say this in your precious name, Jesus. Amen. Guys, this was a lot of fun. Uh, look for part four now, because I'm really excited for what this game can bring now. 
and uh, let's do this, guys. So uh, come back for part four of Star Wars Outlaws. <laughs> but um, we'll see you for the next one, guys. Peace out.